Bonjour, buenos dias, magandang umaga. Welcome to my Chamber of Chakras. And thank you for joining me on another episode of Astro Affirmation for February 19th, 2024. It's magic Monday, peeps. Aquarius season is over. And now we start Pisces season, the spell of spiritual senses to discern both good and evil, right? So how was your weekend, everybody? Dude, Aquarius got weird, right? I mean, what a way to start the new year 2024. An eight year to boot, a year of abundance, well-roundedness, balanced, year of prosperity and success. Yes, we had a strong start with Aquarius season. Beginning the year, right? You say you want a revolution. Well, you know, we all want to change the world. Beatles, love the Beatles, right? So we took what we learned last year and applied it to our lives. Yes, we chased the light of God by changing our perspective to positivity, by having an attitude of gratitude and surrounding ourselves with optimistic people who understand us. Right? Yes, 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 we did that. We were tested during Aquarius season. And we passed with flying colors. Right? I know I was tested. Someone tried to get my goat. And I responded differently this time. <laughs> I didn't take it personally and got offended like I usually do and got my horns out and charged. No, uh-uh. I turned my light on it and I made it funny. Not to ridicule, but as a joyous celebration of my graduation from grump to trump. <laughs> you dig it? So it's time to cut the cord that ties us to our karmic past and break free. Break out, don't stop to ask, right? Break out, break free of the bonds that bind you from intellectual and emotional freedom. We are where the end meets the beginning of the zodiac wheel, right? We're right here. Here's the beginning and here's the end. We're right there. Where the end meets the beginning. Pisces. Here's the glyph for Pisces, right? Two curved lines facing away from each other, but connected in the middle, okay? Yeah, see, it's like an H. And here's my symbol for Pisces. I drew this, okay? Two fish swimming in different directions, but in the same circle of consciousness you know what i'm saying what i'm saying like the yin yang symbol right two contrasting sides of the same coin The head and the tail. The head and the tail of the Ouroboros that meet at 
the same spot. Yes, right? Pisces season this year will be an extra day long. Yeah, because it's a leap year, right? We live another year with an extra day to repent. <laughs> yes, thank you, Jesus. So bring the equilibrium, your dual nature and the duality of life in this world of polar opposites. Bring them into equilibrium, balance them. It's about avoiding the extremes. You know, the extreme ends of the spectrum, right? And taking the middle way, right? Christ consciousness. Okay, neither he or she, but both intersecting at the sacred space where there is no separation, just oneness, connecting us to each other as one race, one body, one spirit in Christ. Let's sing our theme song, shall we? Here we go. with me it just makes it all the more much much lovelier so let's have a little coffee talk before we start our shop chat shall we yes go grab a cup of whatever and let's spill some tea well, I got something to eat with my coffee this morning that I forgot to get it so one moment let's go get you go get your coffee This is what I'm eating with my coffee. Did you know, I just love sweets with my coffee. Yeah, it's called salted caramel mocha cookie. Right? Look at it. Look how thick it is. Right? Yummy. <laughs> so good with coffee. Yeah. My weekend was chill and shook like a Vesper martini. I was like Bond. James Bond. <laughs> Right? Chilled, not shaken. <laughs> oh, yeah. My brother, Danam, stopped by after his interview with Papa's potential tenants. 
because you know my papa he has a a pretty big bungalow and he's all by himself so he wants to rent parts of his house you know to make some extra money since he's retired and only on a fixed income mm, great job nom yeah you hit every nail on the head and secured the deal on solid ground solid Solid as a rock, and nothing's changing. Woo! Right? I forget who sings that song, but they're a married couple. Yeah. The thrill is still. <laughs> yeah, but bravo, my brother. The num. He did such a good job. He's the right man for the job, I'm telling you. Yeah. And who knows? But that you have come to your royal position for such a time as this. BTW, that's a quote from the Bible in the book of Esther, chapter 4, verse 14. If you haven't read the story of Esther, open your Bible and have a look-see. Great story. Yeah. Anywho, I crocheted three mandalas over the weekend. Yeah, this one is with the two skeins of yarn from my late baby brother, Alexis Pena Goko, AKA Catanic Panic. Remember I showed you this last Friday before I framed it on this hoop? But look now, it's all stretched out and you can see all the details of the design. This is Wizard of Loops design. You can find her on YouTube, Wizard of Loops. And she called this design Serenity. Okay, but I'm going to rename it. I'm going to dub it a special name, this particular creation of mine, and call it Cataplexus Chakra. Cataplexus Chakra, right? Because it sounds like Alexis. Plexus, right? Because I remember my brother Alexis. He used to burst out laughing for no apparent reason. Like while you're talking to him, all of a sudden he'll just crack up, you know, and you're not telling a joke. You're just like shooting the breeze. Sometimes you're just sitting there with him and then he'll just start laughing for no reason. And at first I thought it was weird, but then after, since he's, he does it, you know, all the time, I would just laugh along with him to the point of cataplexy. Look that up. And you'll know what I'm talking about. So, Cataplexus Chakra Mandala. Hence the name choice for this mandala, right? I dedicate this to you, my brother. Right, P, I love you. To Alexis Pena Goko, a.k.a. Catanic Panic. You can find his videos. He posted some videos under... His name, Alexis Pena Goko. Um, there are videos of his character called Catanic Panic. Yeah. And I also crocheted another Autumn Winds. I have one already, but I didn't have a hoop to frame it on. So I just push pinned it on my wall over there. I think I showed it before. But this is the one that I crocheted over the weekend that is um, framed on a 22 inch hoop. Oh, I believe this is even a bigger hoop because it's really big. In fact, there's still some movement in there. It's not completely stretched out like um, cataplexus chakra. Yeah, but you can see 
the details of the design, right? This hoop is actually 24 or 26 inch. Yeah. This is called Autumn Winds by Wizard of Loops. And I started another buttercup, the Mountain Buttercup. Remember this one? I shared this one with you guys before and I said, I didn't have a bigger hoop and it really should have been stretched out more. But look how it moves kind of saggy there at the bottom, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so you could actually use this like as a little bowl carrier or a plant holder if you put strings up. But I mean, I hang it on my wall. So here is my first attempt of the Mountain Buttercup. And you can't tell, but there's some errors in there. But I perfected it, so I'm working on it now. And I'm gonna put it on a bigger hoop. And I'm using this yarn here, which is um, wool, 100% wool. So it's got a lot of hairs, so it's more difficult to um, crochet with, but the color scheme is what I like. You know, and when this stretches out, when I'm done, I'll show it to you on a frame, on a hoop. Yeah. So, anyway, now I have um, 20 inch, 22 and 24. Yeah, I ordered them from Amazon. So, I'll be able to stretch that one out so the design details can be better seen. You know, it's nice when stretched out, right? According to Sirius Joy, the ruling chakra for today is the throat chakra. And here is my mandala for the throat chakra. Okay. In Sanskrit, throat chakra is called Vishuddha. Okay. Extremely pure communication and expression. Vibrating the color blue. True blue, baby, I love you. Right? And this is also designed by Wizard of Loops, but I modified it. Yeah, by adding these blue feathers, the bottom and at the top, and a pink heart dangling from the center, the origin, right? The origin of consciousness. Right? The empty space in the middle where it all starts, right? The singularity of creation. Yeah, all creation start with an empty space, a blank slate, a dot, right? that expands into a masterpiece. You dig? <laughs> Love it. Yeah, so the throat chakra is the power behind our voice. And it's located at the base of the throat, right here at the middle of the neck right, the center of your neck, the base of the throat, behind the larynx, our communication center for clear, honest, truthful, sending and receiving of information. Yeah, it's about finding your voice and speaking your truth, as well as hearing others and listening to their messages. It's the sending and receiving. So it's the base of the spiritual chakras, right? Just like the root is the base of the physical chakras, the throat chakra is the base of the spiritual chakras. So you can see here, I, um, I put the parts of the tabernacle of God that he instructed Moses to build externally. I believe that the chakras represent 
those parts of the tabernacle. And I wrote the parts of the tabernacle down for each chakra that I believe is connected to it. The throat chakra, I believe, is connected to the showbread part of the tabernacle of God. So the bread of life, right? Jesus. In thanksgiving, thank you right? By worship and praise, you know, singing psalms and hymns, right? The throat chakra warms, excuse me, <clears throat> warms the showbread to honor God for the many blessings that he has given us. The throat chakra is married to the sacral chakra, our creative center. Yeah, that's how we can have creative communication. Because our creative center is sacral chakra, right? See, the throat chakra communicates on a spiritual level, right? While the sacral chakra expresses on a physical level, right? They're polar opposites that work together in harmony to manifest the imagination and make dreams and visions a reality for sharing with all that there is. Get small. I hope so. So wear blue. Okay, look, I'm wearing my blue bandana, right? Blue makeup, right? Blue tipped press on nails and my blue dress. Yeah, Mama still got it. Anyway, you can just imagine sky blue, sky blue light glowing at the level of the neck in the core of your being, right? In your throat area. And just visualize it radiating outward in all directions, surrounding you with its light blue aura. Feel the freshness. Yeah, just visualize it and just feel how fresh it looks, right? See its calm, peaceful color and resonate your heart with it, you know? Like peace, harmony, right? Understanding, yes. Resonate your heart and soul with that color, okay? The symbol for the throat chakra is a lotus flower with 16 petals. 16 petals represent Sanskrit vowel sounds that open, activate, and balances the throat chakra. Inside the circle of consciousness are concentric circles that show sound waves vibrating from the center of creation, again, right? That dot right there in the center, the center of creation, the origin of consciousness, the point where when you drop a pebble in a body of water, right? The point where the pebble is dropped to create ripples, right? Ripples that go outward through its element, which is air, by the way element of the throat chakra, it's air, or more specifically, ether, the substance of space. Yes, our voices carry, you know, right? When you're at a studio or um, like a DJ booth, it'll have a sign on the door when he's recording that says on air, right? Yeah, that's the element of the throat chakra. Because those sound vibrations, the, our voice, right? Our voices carry throughout the universe and is stored in the Akashic records, right? Yeah. 
words are powerful. Yes. And creative. But it can also be destructive. Right? Because words command things into being. Like God. Let there be light. Boom. There was light. Right? That's in the Bible. Genesis 1-3. Let there be light. And there was light. Yeah. God created the world, the universe, everything with just his words. Yes. So be careful with your words and how you say them. Mere recitation of words, you know, as empty words, if you're just like reciting, right? It does little, but words that are said with passion, like coming from the sacral chakra, passion, emotion, you know, backed up and supported by those feelings, words can either create or destroy. Yeah, remember, I've shown you this before. Oh, lost the S. Right? Words, words can turn into a sword, right? If you're not careful. Yes, it's a weapon that must be wielded with expertise or it can, it can be your own undoing. Yes, remember Jesus told Peter when Peter slice that Roman soldier's ear off. It's like, you know, you use a sword, you die by the sword, that type of thing. So, you know, you have to be careful. But the word of God is called the sword of the spirit, right? Hebrews chapter four, verse 12 says, for the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword it penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Yes, the, the sword of the spirit is the throat chakra in the armor of God. Remember this book by Priscilla Shirer? Yeah. I labeled her illustration of a Roman soldier on the inside of the back cover. See the throat chakra? Yeah, that's the sword of the spirit. See? Yes. God's word is the ultimate truth. Our greatest weapon, a sharp tongue, can pierce through anything, tearing asunder soul and spirit. So it's a very dangerous tool. Yeah, tame your tongue and use it wisely. All right, so <clears throat> conceive your divine downloads and birth them at the sacral chakra to bring them to life and command them to reality at the throat chakra, right? Creative, clear, comprehensive communication. It can move mountains. It can move mountains out of your way so that you can achieve your goal and eventually reach your destination, right? Destiny is all. So the mantra for the throat chakra is hum, hum at the exhale, okay? You inhale, so hum, so hum, I am he, she, that, I am that, or I am they, right? Said it in another way. I am another you. You are another me. We are one. Just like the inhale and exhale, right? There are actions in opposite directions. One is 
inward, the other one is outward, right? But you can't breathe with just inhales. <laughs> yeah, you can't breathe like that, right? Or just exhales, <laughs> you know, unless you're doing that, having a baby or something. A breath is both inhale and exhale. Duality. Right? Duality. Yeah, everything breathes, even solid objects. Even solid objects have inhale and exhale shapes. For example, the octahedron is a dual of the cube, right? Inhale, exhale. Imagine the cube inhaling and exhaling, okay? Cube, right? Octahedron, cube, octahedron, cube. Yeah, you dig? Okay, so now the hand position for the throat chakra is like the sacral chakra, right? Because they're happily married, okay? It's a cradle. This is a sacral chakra's hand position. The throat chakra, which is today's ruling energy, is the same except the fingers at the bottom are interlaced like that, right? It's like the marriage of the two. Isn't that interesting? I love it. Yeah, cradle. So, so hum. time to meditate, pray, and read your Bible every day. Yeah, you need some time to just quiet your mind. And be still and know that He is God. That you are the vessel of God. The kingdom of God is within you. Go inward. Visit with Him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, slow your thoughts and get in that, that gap. The gap between your thoughts. The sacred space where you can just be. You know? Right? Yeah, connect with Mama Gaia. Where is my chart for that? Yeah, here it is. Connect with Mama Gaia. Right? At the root chakra to flow feminine energy up to open the crown. Right? Open the crown to receive spiritual downloads and unite divinity and humanity at the heart of love and compassion to spread, right? Spread and share the rainbow bridge arcing around you like a magnetic field connecting you to all that there is. Yes, being one with the all in all. That's all I have for you today. And once again, I honor God in you and me. Namaste.